alpha plus beta is 90 degrees, which means I can write one of the angle. Maybe I can write beta as 90 minus alpha. Okay, this will be very, very helpful. They want you to evaluate this root under thing. And I want to write alpha as alpha because I have substituted beta. I want to write instead of beta, I'm going to write 90 minus alpha. Okay, now use the property of complementary angles. So here again, cos alpha instead of beta, I'm writing sine 90 minus alpha. I just substituted beta by 90 minus alpha. Using the property of complementary angles, cosec 90 minus alpha is same as sec. Cosec and sec have complementary relationship. Similarly, minus cos alpha, sine 90 minus alpha can be written as cos alpha again. So now what do we get? Inside the root, what I get is cos alpha times sec alpha. Remember, cos and sec are reciprocals of each other, cancelling out to give you just one. Minus cos times cos is cos square. So one minus cos square alpha. Cos one minus cos square alpha can be written as sine square alpha. It comes from the identity, the square identity. Square and root cancels out, giving me the final answer just sine alpha.